Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker back with another lesson and it's another Saxon lesson taking you all the way back to 1995 and the song is Dogs of War. This was the last album to feature Graham Oliver on guitar for Saxon. All of the parts are covered, covering all of the rhythm guitar and also the overdubs and we are going to be looking at the guitar solo towards the end of the song. Below you will find links to my Guitar Mates channel which gives you access to the tablature and also there will be a backing track where you can then practice all of the parts that we will be learning today with the backing track. Anyway, that is enough talking. Let's get into this and let me show you how to play Dogs of War. You know the score. Don't go away. Preview. All right, guitar mates, let's look at the opening section. I'll play it through and of course then I'll break it down for you. So it goes something like this. Right, so what we're doing now, we are playing five chords across the A and the D string. We're going to start off on the sixth fret, so we're going to play on a D sharp. Move up to the ninth fret and going down to the F fret. Down to the fourth fret. Three. And then we go two to the one. Move back up to the sixth fret and then back to the 9 to the A. Go back to the 6th fret, 9 A, down to the 4, 3, 2, 1. Now this time we're going to go to the B, back to the 2nd fret, up to the ninth fret, now on this final one, instead of this being played as a five chord, we are just playing it across the one and the three. So what I'm playing there, I'm playing eight fret on the A string and seven fret on the D string. I'll play that through nice and slow. said it gets repeated so that's your intro section what we're going to do now is look at the verse section and also the intro to the verse so again what I'll do I'll just play it through and break it down for you so it goes like this <laughs> So what we're doing there, we're starting on a B flat five chord. We're gonna play the chord and then two chucks. Then we do an A5, two chucks on the open A, another, another A5. Then we got one more chug, and then we're doing up to the three, so it's A5, B flat, to the C. When we hit the C, we got two more chucks. So really what we're doing is getting and then like that. But the way they're doing it on them last two on the four and makes it feel as though it's all one run to get that. Now when we're on that uh, C chord, we're doing chord two chucks three times. Then we move down to the B flat again, and we're doing that chord, and then we've got an A5 to C. Let me just play that nice and slow for you. Thank you. 
Now that riff gets played predominantly through, gets played through the intro. We're going to play that riff, we're going to play that twice, then we go into the verse, and the verses are played all the way through that chord progression. When we come through from the first verse, we are then going to go straight into the chorus section, which is what we're going to check out now. So again, let me just play through and then I'll break it down. So it goes like this. So, what are we doing there? Very similar to the intro. So we're starting off on the D sharp, so we're on that 6th fret. F sharp, so an F. Down to the C sharp on the 4th fret. So it's a 6, 9, 8, 4. Go back to the 6. 9, 8, 4, 2. Finishing on that B, so. That. Can we get the chorus we back into? Which is verse number two. Play it all the way through verse number two. Come out of verse number two, we go into another chorus section. When we come out of the second chorus, we're then going to go straight into the bridge, which includes the guitar solo. Now, when we go into the bridge section, this is the first point where the two guitars separate from what they're playing, because through the verses and the choruses, they're all pretty much playing the same thing. Now, I said pretty much, because I am sure I can hear it in the mix that one of the guitars, instead of playing five chords through the main rhythm, he's playing it down as just the one and the third of the chord. So you would get this B flap. Taking that against the mix of the chord. Predominantly we're hearing the A5 chord, but I'm sure I can hear it. In that mix you can hear it. There's definitely certain parts, you might not be playing all of it, but I can hear that. That's been played behind the main guitar. But now we're in the bridge section, let's first of all look at the main structured guitar that is playing through all of this. And it's going to be using these same chords all the way through. So we're going to play it like this. Playing there, I'm again back on that D sharp. One, two, three, four, two. Now we've gone down to an F sharp. So now, first time, we're now here down on that E string. So we're playing two and four. Moving down to the F. Then we come up to the G sharp. To the A. Back in. And that keeps on moving all the way through the bridge section. The only thing that changes, I think after you've done that section four times, what he does, he moves across to just playing one and two of the chords. So we would get this. Apart from. is the only change that's going on there. So now, one of the guitars is doing this. Now, we've got to remember when this was done, obviously this was done in a studio. They've laid the guitars live, they don't do it the same way, but for the studio version, we've got one guitar doing that. When they play that live, that is done by the bass. And then you've got these elements that we're looking at. So the second guitar is playing arpeggios over the chords. And the first chord that we're going to be playing is going to be a D sharp minor. We're going to play the strings A, D, G and B. And we just play them down on the count. So we get this. Then we move down to an F sharp major. So 
Uh, we've got the bar on the second fret, and we're going to play A2, D4, and G3, and this time E, A, D, G. Move down to the F, so we're playing 1, 3, 3, 2. And then we've got that. Back. That is played through the vast majority of the actual bridge section. There is a guitar solo which I'm going to be covering a latter part of the lesson. So coming out of the bridge, we go back to verse number three. through verse 3 number 3 then we hit the chorus section now the chorus section it plays it twice so you go going... now that gets played through uh, say the chorus normally you play that through twice so you're playing that in total four times and once we finish the chorus we go back and we actually play the intro again which was that So we would play that, now we play that in its entirety twice, and that takes us to the end of the song. Right, let's look at the solo now. <clears throat> solo comes in in four bars after the start of the bridge, so you can play like progression through. Then we're going to play this. <laughs> So that first part there, we're going to play on 8 on the D string, going to 6 on the B. Then we've got a full tone bend, or a half tone bend, should I say, on that 6. And then we're going to move across to the G string, you're going to play 8, 6, 5. All on that G string, so. Then we've got another 5-6-5. Five, five. Quick hammer on pull-off. We go back to the 8-6-8 eight, eight on the D. And then we're going to play a 9 on the high E string. Then we've got 8-9-8 eight, eight on the high E string again. Down to a 6. To an 8. That lasts for two bars, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we've got this little arpeggio that we're playing here. It's like an F arpeggio, so we're playing. So when I'm doing that, I'm playing eight on the high E string to five. Cross over to the B string, six. Five on the G. So that is your F major arpeggio. Back to the six on the B. And then we are moving now to the four on the B string. And from there, we are now going to move up to 15 fret on the G string. We're going to play that 15. And then we've got, which is 16, 15, 13, back to the 15. Now, we are playing, you can see this as playing in E flat pentatonic, E flat minor pentatonic, and we're going to use that scale in the next part. So we're going to be on the 13th fret on the G string, we're going to do a full tone bend, then we've got this line. So what I'm doing there, I've done that bend. So what is that? That's 13, down to 11, 
and then down to the 13 on the D. We go back to the 11 on the G. Then we've got 13, 11, 13, 11. Twice on the D. So I got that. Then we go over to the 13 on the A. Back to the 11 on the D. 13 on the A, going to the 11 on the A. And then we've got 14 on the low E. Finishing on the 11 on the E. So the next link gets a little bit busy. Goes like this. So what we're playing there, we start off on the B string 14th fret, we do a full tone bend and then back release. And we're gonna play 14 on the B to the 15 on the G, back to the 14. And we're gonna stay with our finger, and I use my second finger on that leg. I'm gonna stay on that 14, we're gonna do a bend on the 14 and then play the 14 directly underneath on the E string. Then we're going to play 14 on the B, pulling off quickly to the uh, 11, and then playing on the 13 on the G. Back to the 11 on the B. So we go. Then we're going to play 13 on the G, pulling off quickly to the 11. Back to the 13. Now we're going to play 11 on the G, to the 13 on the D. Back to the 11, finishing on the 13 on the D. Nice little link that. Next part goes like this. What I'm doing there, I'm on the G string, I'm playing 11. Then I'm gonna do a full tone bend, release back to the 11 on the G. Then I do 13 on the D, 11 on the G, then back to the 13. Then I go back to the 11 on the G, and then I repeat the line again, which is that bend. Right, let's look at the final lick, and of course, typical end of a solo, a nice crescendo lick. So I will just play it through, and then I'll break it down for you. So it goes like this. Okay, what are we doing now? On the B string, I'm doing 11, 14, 11. Cross up to the G string and I'm going to play 13 to 10. Then I'm going back on myself and I'm going to play the 13 and then 11 10. Cross over to the D string and I'm doing 13 10. A string 13 10. And then finishing on the end of the run here on the on the 13. Then I'm going to go back to the 11 on the D string, and I'm going to play 11, 13, 16. Same thing on the G string. Finishing the entire leg on the 11. So, if I do that in slow. Now, I use hammer-ons pull-offs extensively in this leg. So the first one is pick, hammer, pull. And then a pick and a pull off on that to apply that. That first one on the B. And that's a pick on the G string, the 13 to the 10 is a pull off. And then I'm back. Pick, pull off, pull off. And then 13, 10 on the D is pull off. Same on the A. And then I'm going to pick. So I'm doing a hammer on. You can't 
can pick them if you want. But I prefer the hammer on. Or you could do the Paul Gilbert method if you wanted, which is pick hammer hammer and then pick. So. And that takes you to the end of the solo. Well, that is the end of the song. We have covered all of the guitar parts for the song. Don't forget, if you follow the links below, it will take you to my premium channel and there you'll be able to get hold of all the tabs. And also, I'm gonna be posting the, a backing track that you can download through the premium channel section and enjoy playing along with the bass and the uh, drums. Uh, have a bit of fun while you're doing that. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed the lesson and you find it useful. Until the next time, this is Jeff wishing you well. I'll speak to you again soon. Until then, goodbye.